Yeah, I like it. Hello, my wonderful viewers, and welcome to another episode of Betty Adams Overanalyzes. Today, we are going to take a spoiler-free look at my first reaction to the Netflix live-action Yu Yu Hakusho trailer. And there will be no, there will, I will be addressing one scene that was in the manga and the anime. I do not count that as spoilers, but it, this scene just really emphasizes and exemplifies what I think this show is doing right. Now, caveat, I have only seen the first episode. Caveat, a lot was changed from the anime and manga, so... I can see how people who are really attached to the original series would might have issues with this, but overall, not to bury the lead, this show, mm, how to put this, how to put this, so many live action anime adaptations clearly despise the source material. I'm looking at you, Dragon Ball. I'm looking at you, Power Rangers. I mean, that, that was a live action adaptation of a live action. But anyway, so many of these shows, when you take a cheesy Shonen Jumps kid episode, kids show and put it up on in live action, so often the show either clearly despises the original material or wants to distance itself from the original material or puts a lot of effort into being more mature. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But you can always tell when the creators of a live action show actually care about the original material. And from everything that I can tell, the creators of the Netflix live action Yu Yu Hakusho show love the source material as much if not more than I do and that's saying something and there's just one scene that I really want to focus on clearly a lot was cut out from the manga and anime of course the anime had extra padding because animes do the manga but there was one thing that when I went back and I started to reread the manga when this announcement came out the, the first 40-odd chapters of the manga, I thought, you know, they could probably cut this out. And the entire first 45 chapters of the manga, they could probably cut it out and not lose all that much. And, uh, well, you'll see what they did. I don't like it. I don't enjoy the fact that so much is going to have to be trimmed, that so much was trimmed. But... I fully understand why they did it. It was done well. It was done for logical reasons. And the end product is a good story. But let's get to that scene. When I described Yu Yu Hakusho to a friend of mine when the news was coming out, I described it as a plucky delinquent punches supernatural creatures. Because, and my friend kind of laughed and said, you said that I had a knack for summarizing shows. And that plunky delinquent punching supernatural creatures is, well, it's exactly what we get here. And in one of the things, the classic elements of shonen anime and manga that doesn't always translate well into live action is just the sheer joy that the vast majority of the protagonists take in honest combat. And the the one scene that I'm going to talk about now, mild spoilers, too, if you like to, where Kuwabara uh, jumps Yusuke at the beginning of the series, where Yusuke is just walking along, minding his own business, and Kuwabara bounces out with his pack of flunkies behind him. It's, they aren't just his flunkies, though. They're his friend group, because Kuwabara is the kind of guy who attracts friends, not flunkies. And... They come out, and the entire mood of the scene changes. You just see Yusuke's face light up with that low-key animal joy when he sees when he realizes Kuwabara is not going to back down. And Kuwabara's his whole body lights up with that joy. And the music picks up, and they just go at each other. And it's pow, bang, pow! And I just... Oh my goodness, that one scene would have been worth the entire series, would have justified the entire series in my book. These are just two boys. They're going out there. 
They're going at it. They're having a good time. Not because they hate each other. Not because they have a beef with each other. Just because they enjoy punching things. And the two of them happen to be the sturdiest things in that area. And they punch each other because, well, they neither of them want, really wants to fight someone who doesn't want to fight. But they love fighting. And I really, really wish that I could articulate this better. There is a joy in this series and a love of the original things. This live action series, this first episode, is proud to be sourced in a Shonen Jump manga. And this, this, these creators take joy in the fact that they are getting to work with the story that they love. And that joy at getting your hands dirty and knuckling down and doing the work really comes through in this and it vibes so well with the overall story of Yu Yu Hakusho and there are there's so many other elements I'm going to do a full review on my on my thoughts about the first episode the CGI is how to describe it the creators who were in charge of using the CGI for this show fully understood what the CGI that they had access to was capable of. And they fully understood what the practical effects they had were capable of. And they understood how to use what they had to the best effect. This is not the best CGI you've ever seen when it comes to raw quality and power of CGI. But it is so well used that I cannot think of a single moment in the show where I looked at that and I thought, that looks like CGI. It just looked like something that was happening in the show because it is used so seamlessly, even though the CGI is visibly not super expensive CGI. So that is my thoughts on the series so far. I have only seen the first episode. My opinion of the ep series as a whole could change. I have only noticed one thing that I would consider worrying, and that is the show is downplaying the brutality of the main characters. The show has polished up the main characters a bit, trying to make more traditional heroes out of them. But it's it's subtle. It's subtle, but it is there. And that's the only thing that really bothers me. But I will give my full thoughts on that in my full-length video that is coming. I'm, work I'm working on the script right now. These are going to be my Sunday videos going forward. But what do you think, my wonderful viewers? Have you seen the first episode of Yu Yu Hakusho? Did you have a strong attachment to the uh, original series? when it came when it originally aired in the states tell me what you think in the comments below hit that like and subscribe button and peace out my wonderful viewers humans are weird we took a vote the second book of human absurdity is now available in audiobook format everywhere where audiobooks are sold barnes and noble google play kobo by rakuten and of course audible and amazon so you can now get a copy of the audiobook format of all 70,000 words of human absurdity.